guys, and I'm Emma, and we read the book Voice of Freedom, Fannie Lou Hamer, The Spirit of the Civil Rights Movement by Carol Boston Weatherford. This is a story about a girl who grew up on a plantation. She was the youngest of 20 children of sharecroppers. She didn't get to go to school very much. She and her family worked hard in the fields picking cotton. This was in the Mississippi Delta. At 13, she picked 300 pounds of cotton each week. One thing that kept her going was singing. Her mother lost her sight when Fannie Lou was a young girl. Fannie Lou's life was very hard. She and her family suffered many hardships. She got married to Perry Hamer, whom she called Pap when she was 22. Her life got better because Pap was a good hunter, so they had more food. Then she took on a bigger part of the farm where she helped the workers not be cheated. She adopted two little girls and got interested in voters' registration, became a crusader, and helped African Americans get to vote. This was very hard to do and she suffered many setbacks. During this time, she started writing poems and singing songs. This helped her become known as the voice of the civil rights movement. She met many famous people and got to travel with her work. She ran for many offices, but never won. Still, she has a street, post office, youth center, and memorial park named after her. We should warn you that this book has some disturbing content. Some parts may be hard to read, but it's worth it. We, we love, love this book, so we, we rate it four out of five stars, with one star off for the harsh wording. So, so go check, check it out. out. Hi, I'm Derek. And I'm Will. We read The Seventh Most Important Thing by Shelley Pearsall. Arthur T. Owens is an ordinary boy, and his father just died. Arthur is mad that Junk Man took his father's hat that his mom threw out, so Arthur decides to grab a brick and hurl it at Junk Man. When Arthur goes to court, the judge wants to send the GB for an eternity, but Junk Man has a better idea. 120 hours of community service working for him. Arthur is getting a list of the seven most important things to collect, which are glass bottles, foil, cardboard, piece of wood, light bulbs, coffee cans, and mirrors. Arthur doesn't know why he was given those arms to collect, but seeing those arms will change his life. I love this book because of the amazing plot twists and things that will surprise you. I liked it because of the interesting characters and the humor in the book. We rate this book five out of five stars because of the amazing plot twists and interesting characters. Check it out at your local library and read it. Hi, I'm Iggy, and I read Drowned City by Don Brown. It is a graphic novel about the true story of when Hurricane Katrina struck New Orleans in 2005. After Hurricane Katrina hit, many thousands of people were rescued from their homes, and others faced terrible challenges. I like the detailed pictures showing me the effects of the hurricane. Seeing the devastation made me feel sad. I rate this book 4 out of 5 stars for its interesting pictures and all the emotional feelings. Read it. Hi, my name is Carolyn and I read the most amazing book, Echo by Pam Munoz Ryan. When Otto gets lost in a forest, he meets three mysterious sisters. He becomes entwined in a quest and prophecy that involves a harmonica a very special harmonica. First, the harmonica ends up in Germany in 1933 with a boy named Frederick. Frederick must save his father. Then the harmonica makes its way to Pennsylvania in the United States in 1935. There it winds up in another boy's hands named Mike. Mike must protect his brother. Finally, a girl in Southern California named Ivy receives the harmonica. She must help her family when her brother joins the military. Will the quest come to an end? Will these stories be connected by the harmonica to create amazing music? I rate this book five out of five stars for its descriptive details, exciting plot, and interesting characters. Read this book. Hi. I'm Jaden, and I read the book Enchanted Air by Margarita Engel. This book is about a girl growing up between two cultures. Her mom is Cuban, and Cuba is where her true self belongs, but she lives in America with her mom, sister, and father. She used to be able to travel to Cuba during summers before conflict arose between the Cubans and Americans. Now she can't see her ancestors, relatives, and the author struggling to feel at home. 
Along with all of this happening, she has her own struggles with middle school, high school, and being younger than everyone else because she skipped a few grades. I rate this book four out of five stars for its amazing poems, time period, and characters. If you want to find out what happens next, you'll just have to read it. So check it out. My name is Callie. And my name is Prince. And we read the book in the Footsteps of Crazy Horse by Joseph Marshall III. Jimmy McQueen is a fifth grader at Lakota School on a reservation. He's two kids at a school who bully him a lot. Then he goes on a trip over the summer with his grandpa and learns about the history of his tribe and himself. Crazy Horse is an Indian warrior who leads a tribe called Lakota. At the time, the settlers were trying to push the Indians off of their land and force them into reservations. Crazy Horse was very protective of the way he lived and would not turn his tribe into the settlers. Crazy Horse once said, We preferred our own way of living. We were no expense to the government. All we wanted was peace and to be left alone. When we read this book, five out of five stars for the courage and action in this book. Read it. Hi, my name is Brianna. And I'm Maddie. And we read the book Roller Girl by Victoria Jameson. The struggle that 12-year-old Astrid had is that she wanted to go to roller camp with her best friend. But her best friend didn't want to go to roller camp. She wanted to go to dance camp. Astrid had a really hard time at roller camp by herself. But then she met a girl named Zoe and they became friends. We rate this book four and a half stars because of its humor and cliffhangers. And we could relate to Astrid's struggles. If you love adventurous graphic novels, then you will love this book. Read it. I'm Lucy. And I'm Tova. And we, we read Stella by Starlight by Sharon M. Draper. Stella Mills' life living in the segregated South has always been far from perfect, but one day it takes an unexpected turn. Late one night, she and her brother run into the Ku Klux Klan, a group of white men determined to make her community's lives miserable. Tragedy strikes and everyone is unsure what to make of it. Stella and her family are changed by fighting back against their enemy. If you like historical fiction, you might enjoy this book. We rate this book three and a half stars for its incredible detail, even though it was a little slow in the middle. Read it! Hi, I'm Timothy. And I'm William. Our book is The Nest by Kenneth Opal. It all seems so innocent when a family has a young boy named Theo. Yeah, but he's just so different. When the family discovers all of Theo's problems, the wasps say they can help him. But what if they just make him different again? How? Remember when they try and take the baby from the crib and replace him with another baby? Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. I guarantee you, you will love this book. We rated this book four and a half stars out of five. Because it is unusual at the beginning, but at the end, it turns out to be exciting and intense to read. Go check it out at your local library. Hi, I'm Caleb, and I read the book The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. Ada is 10. She has never gotten to go outside because her mother is too ashamed of her twisted foot. When Ada's brother Jamie is being sent out of London to the countryside to escape the German bombs, she decides to escape and go with them. When they arrive, no one wants them because of her disability. They are left with Susan, a woman who is forced to take them in. Susan doesn't think she's ready to take care of kids, but soon realizes she loves them, and they find out what it's truly like to be cared for. Ada learns that hope, trust, and love can save her. But will their bond be enough to keep them together, or will they fall back into their mother's cruel hands? Don't miss the exciting conclusion of this powerful story. I rate this book four to five stars because of the details and the basis of the story. Check it out. Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Gabe. We read Took by Mary Downing Hahn. It's a ghost tale. Daniel and his sister Erica don't want to move to rural West Virginia. It's an old rundown farm surrounded by woods. Pretty creepy, right? Well, it gets even scarier when your own toy takes you. We rate this book three out of five stars. Find out what happens next in the story took. And just remember, if you like spooky tales, this is the one for you. But if you don't, let's just hope you don't get took. <laughs>